Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We have a really cool Tau Sept commission to show you guys. If you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome. Here at Siege, we're our UK-based premium commission miniature painting service with 28 members of staff who all paint from our entry bronze premium gaming level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. Um, if you are interested in a quote, then very simply, all you need to do is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote, Click on that link and it will take you directly to Siege Studios website and our contact form which you need to complete by selecting the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is shown on there. Once you've done all that, click the send button and we'll come back to you with a quote very, very quickly. Uh, we're back in a second to have a look at this awesome Tau army in more detail. See you guys back in a second. So first up, as always, we have the characters from this Tower Army Commission, and there are two. We have a Cadre Fireblade and also a Crisis Commander. Uh, really, really cool models, both. Um, so let's pull forward the uh, Cadre Fireblade to start off with. Um, now, James, who's worked on this project, had a real pleasure working on Tower. He's a big Tower fan and uh, obviously wanted to make this uh, this Cadre Fireblade stand out. So he has obviously got a helmet to match the rest of the infantry that are coming up next in the video. But really, really cool. We can see the consistency of all the edge highlighting done across the model, every little aspect of detail, fully painted to a lovely, pristine, clean finish. Uh, all the lenses and everything done there as you can see just moving around even on the end of the gun the lens has all been painted and done moving around on the cape as well we have obviously a lovely amount of tonal variation on that cape as well plus on the obviously on the bonding knife little screens and things are all painted on the armor just to add those extra little details as well um, but overall a lovely lovely finish and i've not seen a cadre fire blade with a helmet before but i really think it suits the model and works extremely well uh, so that's just him uh, painted in a lovely lovely fashion um, so that's just the cadre fire blade and then we'll start by looking at the commander again really really cool new commander model Model, um, in a really cool pose here just looks a bit dominant which is lovely looking for a new target um, again he's got the both of the fusion blasters plus obviously the burst cannon loadout uh, and again we've got all the little uh, gems and lenses obviously all painted on him on his suit as well just to make all those little extra details stand out fully on the model which is really really nice uh, so that's just this commander and I will show you the two little drones which do go with um, the commander um, again just so you can see the consistency of all the little models that we do here at Siege you've got all the little lenses all painted on those as well uh, just so they can see all the way around and detect little threats there for the commander uh, but overall really really cool set of models to lead this tau force up next we have all the infantry coming and then to finish the video off we have the ghost kills the broadside and some other suits as well we'll see you guys back in the next section So next up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this force. Lots and lots of different infantry units. Obviously, we've got uh, quite a considerable amount. So there's actually uh, individual five-man units here as well, which the clients requested. And each one has got a squad leader, we'll denote with white markings. We obviously have 10 pathfinders that are also split into two five-man units, plus obviously a sniper controller and three sniper drones. Run through really, really quickly. We'll start with the, uh, the pathfinders. So again, if any of you remember the game Fire Warrior, then I'm pretty sure you're going to remember this gun, but obviously it's a rail rifle. Um, there's quite a few in this, in this pathfinder unit. There's actually three of them. But again, really, really cool model. Classic colour scheme. You probably remember it from the original uh, artwork from when the, the Tau first came out back in the day in third edition. Uh, James has had a lovely time working on these with all the little individual little lenses and bits on the armoured, on the helmets and all the cloth work and everything, which is done really nicely. Um, Pull forward one of my favourite pathfinders, this dude here with binoculars. Uh, as you can see, James has a lovely blend on that lens there with a point of light catch light on there as well. Uh, but every single edge fully painted and highlighted to a crisp fashion in multiple stages, which is really cool. Uh, one squad leader from that unit, uh, again with white aerial denoting him as a, as a squad leader. And again, he's just sort of reloading there by the looks of it. Uh, but really, really lovely model. And obviously the blue skin on there on the towel as well. A lot of the squad leaders do have that. Um, we've actually chosen to use those. Just pull forward a generic pathfinder here as you can see lovely lovely fashion in a very well presented sort of clean scheme all the little lenses you can see on the helmets on the scopes and things all done as well which is really nice uh, we'll move through some of the fire warriors just so you can have a look at those james has done a really cool thing here and if you just see on the rifles there's little markings like tau set markings and um, it's just so that it can denote the squads as well which is really really cool uh, but again you can see all the lenses and everything done there in a lovely fashion obviously barefooted there probably not the best attire for battle but never mind um and then and then we've got um obviously another that squad leader here obviously with the blue skin all done on him as well in a lovely clean fashion with this bonding knife there as well done which is really cool 
Um, and then we'll move on and have a look at the Sniper Drone Controller. A really cool model, very different, uh, but as you can see here, the little gems and lights and all things done on him. Moving him around, you can see every aspect of detail fully painted and highlighted. Uh, so he's obviously busy there looking for a victim. Um, we'll pull forward a few of the Sniper Drones, just so you can see those. All the little lenses there done and painted on them, so you can see every little lens, just so you can see all the way around them. Uh, and a really, really cool model as well. Do you like them? Next, we'll pull forward a few just extra fire warriors just from the other units. I'm not going to pull every single one forward because obviously they're all very similar, but uh, just so you can see the consistency from unit to unit, so you do get that lovely, lovely consistent scheme across all the models. And if supposedly you wanted to change models between units, you wouldn't have any problem at all in doing so because they do all match each other. Uh, up next, we're going to have a look at some of the bigger suits. We've probably got um, broadside coming, plus obviously some ghost kills uh, to finish up with on this video. So stick around, that's coming up next. So last up, we're going to have a look at some of the heavy hitters from this Tau Sept Army Commission. Um, we have obviously the broadside. Um, we've got the two ghost kills and then we have some stealth suits as well, which are really, really cool. Uh, and then obviously the supporting drones, which then do go with those units as well, which is really lovely. Um, so we'll pull forward some of these stealth suits. First of all, again, really, really cool models. It's been around quite a considerable period of time, but they've held the test of time extremely well. Uh, this one again with that white sort of leader markings on him, the faceplate and also the aerial. Uh, but you can see all the edging done there on the armour and the black to a lovely, lovely finish, which is really lovely. Um, and then the two uh, other models from the unit, again, all the little lenses and gems all painted on them as well, corresponding to the colour scheme. Uh, again, lovely complementary red there as well across the model in various areas. So that's just him. And then the third one as well, we'll just have a look at that in a bit more detail so you can see him. Really, really cool models. I've always liked these and uh, all armed obviously with burst cannons, as you can see there. And then we'll pull forward the uh, broadside, which is obviously one of the bigger suits from the force. Again, really cool model. I do like the way that, that they've moved it from having the shoulder mounted on the earlier metal versions to now this sort of rifle kind of thing. And it is magnetized for a client just so that they can uh, swap weapons out as well. All the little lenses done there, as you can see on the rail rifle, on the head, on the shoulder, uh, all the missiles picked out in a lovely complimentary white as well. Uh, and he has a white shield denoting him perhaps as a squad leader as well. If our, if our client wishes to use that. Lovely energy glow there on the, on the generator on the back as well, which uh, James has picked out in a really nice fashion. Uh, all the gold work with lovely silver edging and various brighter golds as well. Uh, so that's just the broad side from this force. Uh, I'll pull forward one of the missile drones just so you can see that again there. You've got all the lenses all painted on that drone as well and the little white missiles that's painted on these missile drones as well just to complement the rest of the uh, the other the other missiles on the broad side. Um, we've got some of these uh, stealth drones as well. You pull one forward, as you can see that. There are four of them, obviously, uh, two with each ghost kill. Uh, but again, you see all the little lenses all done on those as well in a lovely fashion. Uh, and then we'll pull forward one of the ghost kills just so you can have a look at that in a greater closeness. Uh, so again, you can see a lovely blue energy glow on that fusion weapon there, as you can see. Uh, and these are magnetized as well for our client just so that he can interchange those should he wish. You've got the uh, fusion blasters on the back as well done, which is really lovely. Um, and again, all the edging and everything done across the suit in a very, very lovely fashion. Uh, got a white helmet on both of them as well. Just a really cool sort of complementary colour to the armour colour. Just makes that head detail stand out. All the lenses done in the red as well, as you can see there, uh, in a lovely fashion. And then moving around, all that crisp edging done throughout on the model as well. Uh, so that is just one of the two ghost kills. Uh, do hope you've liked all the different sections of the video, guys. We're going to come back and have a look at the army in a whole again, just in the final shot, so you can find out a bit more about how to take out a commission with us here at Siege. See you guys back in a second. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Really appreciate it ever so much. And I do hope that you have liked this Tau Sept Army Commission. Uh, I know that James had a great time working on it. If you are interested in an army commission much like this, or even a small force, squad, or character, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where there's a link to our contact form where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It will take you directly to the contact form on the Siege Studios website. And all you need to do very simply is just complete it by selecting the relevant drop-down options from those available for your project. And then in the message, section including a list of models in our model list format which is shown on there for you guys fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote while you're here on youtube do us a huge favor and also subscribe to the channel it means you can keep up to date with everything that we do as a business in the form of video production and if you do hit the bell icon you will be notified when new videos do go up on the channel Incidentally, in the description, you can also find all the links to our social media. So that's Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you'd like to give us a follow and like respectively on those, you can also see all the other content which we put out, including competitions and all different mod 
pro models and projects that we're working on. Uh, so I do hope you can check those out. Thanks again for watching the video and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, bye-bye.